Jimmy, how are you? <laughs> enough. Ha <laughs> ha, that's enough, Jimmy. All right. Now where is Lucy and Matthew? Hello, George. Hello, Auntie. Is Lucy and Matthew here? Yes, they are here. I guess they are watching TV. Come in. Thanks, Auntie. This is so boring. Let me change the channel. No, no, don't. But this, this is so stupid. No, it's not. The shows that you watch are stupid. Not this one. Did you just say Who is it? It's me, guys. Open the door. Hey, George. Hello, Lucy. What are you guys doing here? I was waiting for you at our spot. I'm sorry, George, but Matthew is zoned up in front of the TV. Matthew? But I missed the show yesterday because of Lucy. She didn't let me. And you're going to miss the show today too. Huh? Why? Oh, you forgot again? Don't you remember that we have Bible classes today? Ouch! I'm sorry. Just give me a minute. I'll get ready soon. And you, Lucy? I'll be back in a flash too. Ha ha ha! We are ready. Let's go. Come on. We have to rush. It's almost nine o'clock now. Come with us, Jimmy. Hurry up! Is Father John going to tell us the story of Isaac today? I think so, and maybe he will tell us the story of his sons too. Wow, the story of Isaac's sons! It's going to be amazing. Yes, but we must hurry up if we have to catch the full story. Hurry up, Matthew! The class is going to start soon. Good morning, children. Good morning, Father. Hmm. I see that everyone is here. Shall we begin today's class? Yes. All right. But before we begin, who can tell me where we stopped yesterday? You told us how God tested Abraham by asking him to sacrifice his son Isaac. And did Abraham pass God's test? Yes. Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac, but then God stopped him. And what did they sacrifice instead? God gave them a ram. They found the ram with its horn locked in the bushes. That's correct. And back to the story now. Isaac grew up and he took charge of all his father's land and animals. Father, we must find new land for the sheep to graze. The grass at the river bank is almost getting dried up. <laughs> we will, son. But we have to get you married first. Hmm. There are a lot of women here in Canaan. We can find one easily. No, my son. I don't want you to marry any of the Canaanites. We have found a suitable bride for you from my homeland. Huh? Who have you selected, father? You will get married to my brother Nahor's grandchild, Rebecca. Rebecca? Yes, and she is beautiful. You will like her. And when is the uh the the wedding? Oh, you're blushing. <laughs> Soon, my son. Soon. Isaac married Rebecca as his father wanted. Many years passed and Abraham passed away. 
Isaac became the head of the family and owner of great wealth. He remained faithful to God. He and Rebekah remained childless for many years, and he kept praying to God, and one day God granted his prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Rebecca, my dear, look, we've got twins. <laughs> yes, my dear. Even though they are twins, they don't look like each other. Look at our sturdy firstborn. Yes, he looks strong. I'm sure he will be a great hunter and a leader one day. Pumu. Nana. <laughs> I'll call you Iso. <laughs> well, what of the second child? Oh, he's smaller and has smooth skin. When he emerged from your womb, he was grasping the heels of his brother. Ha! Huh. He is a schemer. I shall call him Jacob. Baba. When the two boys grew up, Esau became his father's favorite because he was strong and was very good with hunting. Jacob was a quieter child who liked to study and learn things. Jacob was his mother's favorite. Jacob spent most of his time reading books even while looking after the sheep. <sighs> What? Got you, little brother. <laughs> Esau, no, put me down. <laughs> put me down, I said. Stop, stop. You can jump down if you want. I'm going to tell mother about this. All right, cry baby. Here you go. One day, Jacob was preparing soup with the help of his mother, Rebecca. No need of stirring any more, son. Shall I take it off the fire, mother? Yes. Let me go inside and cut the vegetables. Mmm. This smells delicious. There comes my brother, empty-handed as usual. Ha! <laughs> Hello, brother. What are you making there? Didn't you get anything today? No. I think the beast have learned the trick. They just vanish when they hear my footsteps. <laughs> oh, so should they stand around waiting to be hit by your arrow? You are a fool. Ha. <laughs> ha. Well, I know what to do. I will catch a deer with my trap tomorrow. Is that so? Then maybe we will have a feast tomorrow. That is tomorrow. Right now I'm starving. What are you making in the pot? It's nothing. Just making some soup. Ah, smells nice. Give me some, Jacob. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Then you should have hunted down some animal. Brother, there is no game in all the land. Let me have some. I'm starving. No, we weren't expecting you. There's only enough for... I'm really hungry, brother. Give me some soup and you can ask for anything in return. Did you say you'll offer anything in return? Yes, you can ask for anything. Do you want a horse? No, I don't need a horse or a camel. I... I... Just say what you need and I'll give you. Hmm. You can have all the soup you want. But... But you'll have to give me your birth, birthright. Birthright? Is that all you want? <laughs> I knew you were stupid. <laughs> so you don't mind giving up your birthright? <laughs> no, no. You have my birthright by all means. Well then, make an oath to God that it is mine. And this full pot is yours. All right. By the God of Abraham and Isaac, I swear to give Jacob my birthright. That's it. Now give me the soup. Here you go. Hmm. This tastes so good. Thus, Esau carelessly gave away his birthright as the firstborn son of Isaac.
Isaac had grown old and he lay in his bed for most of the time. His eyesight had grown weak too and Isaac knew that he would die soon. Who? Who is there? Is it you, Ezel? No, it's me, dear. Rebecca, my love, come here. What is it, dear? Rebecca, I think my time in this world is nearing an end. I must speak to Esau. Where is he? Don't worry, dear. I'll fetch him for you. Father, shall I come in? Oh, you're here. Come in, my son. Did you ask for me, father? Yes, I did. Come here. Father, Esau, I think my time is up, but I have one more desire. Just say what you want and I'll get it for you. I'm craving for a dish of venison. Can you get me one? Of course, father, I will. You will have the dish by evening today. Thank you, my son. I knew you will get me this. And after I have the meal, I shall bless you. Thanks, father. I'll be back soon. No, Jacob should be the one to receive his blessing. I must do something. Jacob! Jacob! Mother, why are you running? What happened? Your brother? Your brother? Huh? What about Esau? No, your brother has been sent to a hunt game. By who? By your father. And when he cooks the horizon for your father, then he will give his blessings to him before he dies. Oh no. What can we do now, mother? Jacob, bring a lamp. A lamp? What are you going to do? Get them quickly and I'll tell you. Mother, here I've brought the lamp. What are you going to do? Clean the lamp quickly. We will make the dish and you are going to take this to your father. And he will give me his blessings. Wow, that's a brilliant idea. But we must hurry up and do this before Esau gets back. But mother, wouldn't father recognize me? I have smooth skin and Esau is hairy. Do what I say and leave the rest to me. Do not throw away the lamb's skin. We will need that to cover your hands and neck. Now, wear these Esau's clothes. Ah, they are stinking. Ugh, this smells of sweat and animals. And so must you. Now hold out your hands. Now these will make your hands feel hairy. Do you think these goat skin will fool him? I'm sure. Now take the food and receive your blessing. And remember to talk in a deep voice. Oh God, don't let father recognize me. Who's there? Father, it's me, Esau, your eldest son. <clears throat> I've brought your dish as you had asked. Really? But you sound like Jacob. Come closer and give me your hands. I'm not Jacob. I'm your eldest son. Here. Hmm. You've got hairy skin. You are Esau. But how did you return so quickly? Uh, mm, it was God. He put a game in my path and I got one. Now, will you eat? <clears throat> now, will you eat, Father? Yes, this could be my last meal. Hmm, this is delicious. Have some more, Father. Hmm. That's enough. Father, you promised me a blessing. Come closer, my son. Ah, the smell of my firstborn. 
May the God of Abraham bless you abundantly. May the kingdoms honor you. May your brothers serve you. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Now you must rest. Huh. Father, Father, who, who is it? It's me, Esau. Please get up and eat, Father. Esau, what? Didn't I just eat and bless you? What? Well, I just brought you the game you asked for. Who was it then that haunted the game and brought it to me a few moments back? I, I don't understand. Yes, I ate it just before you came in and blessed him. No. Oh, I should have known when I heard that voice. It must be Jacob then. Oh. I know now that your brother came and deceitfully took your blessing. Uh, that Jacob, he's rightfully named the schemer. First he took my birthright and now now he took my blessings too. Father, haven't you got a blessing for me? I am sorry my son, but I can't give you the same blessing. I'm really sorry. As soon as my father die, I will kill Jacob. Ha. Huh. I must ask Jacob to leave immediately. Rebecca warns Jacob and asks him to go to Haran. Jacob fled from Esau to Haran with the blessings of his father. But he was never going to see his mother again. And that night God spoke to Jacob. Jacob, do not be afraid. I am the God of Abraham and Isaac. I shall give this land to you and your descendants. I will always protect you and bring you back to this land. Huh? What have I dreamed? Surely this is the dwelling place of the Lord, and I didn't know it. This place is blessed. Certainly, this is the house of the Lord. I'll call this place Bethel. If God protects me and brings me back, he alone will be my Lord and God. After making the oath, Jacob continued his journey. Now, I fear no one. The Lord is with me. And after many days of traveling, Jacob finally reached the city of Paddan Aram. Excuse me. Hi. Do you need any help? Oh, hi. I I was drawing water for the sheep. It's uh, it's Don't worry. I'll help you draw water from the well. That's so kind of you. Uh, uh where are you from? Haran. Do you know Nehos Cranson? Of course. He's my father. Is your father's name Laban? <laughs> yes. Wow. I'm your relative. My name is Jacob. I'm the son of Rebecca, your father's sister. You are Rebecca's son? That's wonderful. I'll go and tell this to my father. Yes, I'll wait here till then. Father, father. Yes, dear. What is it? Father, there's some wonderful news. What is it, dear? Your sister's son is here in town. What? Did you mean Rebecca's son? <laughs> yes, and his name is Jacob. Where is he? Is he outside the door? Ask him to come in or I'll come out. Wait. No, he's not here. He's waiting at the well outside the city gates. Then I must go to him. I'm going there now. Rebecca's son. 
Ha ha ha! I can't wait to see him. Are you Jacob? Yes, I am. I assume you must be Laban. My own flesh and blood. Welcome, Jacob. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, I can't explain how excited I am to see you. Let's walk home. Tell me, son, how is my sister Rebecca? Hmm. She was doing fine the last time I saw her. When did you see her last? About a month ago. What happened, my son? You look sad. Uh, it's a long story, uncle. Don't worry. You can tell the whole story on our way back home. It's been 30 days since I left home. And then, by God's grace, I found your daughter outside the city gates. That's the story, uncle. I have told you everything. Hmm. You have been through many hardships, Jacob. But do not worry, my son. You should forget the past now. You can start a new life here. Oh, Jacob, you are here. Meet my sister. Her name is Leah. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Leah. Everybody, let's go inside. Jacob decided to stay with Laban for a few days, and Laban was glad to offer shelter to his sister's son. It's getting really late. I will tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. But before I leave, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Shall I? Yes, father. All right, Matthew. Yes, father. Tell me the names of Isaac's sons. Hmm. Their names were Esau and Jacob. Who were older among them? Esau was the firstborn father. That's good. And now you, Lucy? Yes, father. Who was Isaac's favorite son? It was Esau. Then why did Isaac give his blessings to Jacob? Jacob dressed up as Esau and lied to his father to get his blessings. That's right. And now you, George. Yes, father. How was Jacob and Laban related? Jacob was the son of Rebekah, who was Laban's sister. And what were the names of Laban's daughters? Mm, it was Rachel and Leah. That's correct. All of you have done quite well today. I will tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. See you tomorrow then. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.